Dear students, welcome back to the lecture series on statistical thermodynamics. In the previous classes, we have seen how to express various thermodynamic properties in terms of partition function. In this video, we will try to find out the thermodynamic properties such as internal energy, heat capacity, work function, entropy, etc. of an ideal monoatomic gas in terms of partition function. In the case of an ideal monoatomic gas, as we know, there are no intermolecular forces of attraction. The total energy of an ideal monoatomic gas will be a combination of translational energy, electronic energy and nuclear energy. Since there is no bond formation, the contribution from rotational and vibrational energies will be zero. So the only energy, the main energy will be the translational energy plus electronic energy due to the distribution of electrons in various energy states and also nuclear energy due to the spin of the atom. But according to bohn oppenheimer approximation, the translational energy is independent of the electronic and nuclear energies and hence it is possible to treat these three energy states independently. So the total energy will be the translation energy plus electronic energy plus nuclear energy. Therefore, a monoatomic gas has translational, electronic and nuclear partition function. The total partition function Q may be expressed as the product of these three partition functions that is QT into QEL into QN. QT is the translational partition function. QEL is the electronic partition function and QN is the nuclear partition function. Okay. Now these monoatomic gas particles are identical and indistinguishable. So for N indistinguishable identical particles, the molar partition function capital Q can be written as Q raised to N by N factorial. So that is equal to QT into QEL into QN raised to N by N factorial. Now in our previous videos, we have already evaluated independent partition functions that is expression for translational, rotational, vibrational, etc. So translational partition function QT is 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 into V. Now about electronic and nuclear partition functions. So that is equal to the degeneracy of the electronic and nuclear energy states that is QEL is equal to GEL and QN is equal to GN. So substituting the values for individual partition functions we get 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 into V into GEL 0 GN 0 raised to N by N factorial. Now we are doing a simplification that is 1 by N factorial can also be written as E by N raised to N. Uh, since N factorial can be written as N raised to N into E raised to minus N or 1 by N factorial can be written as E by N raised to N. Okay. So instead of 1 by N factorial, now we are going to write E by N raised to N. Therefore, the molar partition function capital Q is equal to E by N that is instead of 1 by n factorial e by n 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 v g e g n the whole raised to n. We may separate the translational part and the electronic and nuclear energy parts. So 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 v e by n raised to n into g e l g n raised to n. Now applying log log q is equal to n log 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 v e by n plus n log g e l 0 plus n log g n 0. The degeneracy of the electronic and nuclear ground energy states is equal to 1. For higher electronic energy states, the value of g may be 2 j plus 1. So here we are considering the ground state. So the degeneracy is 1. 
So here it will be log one. Here also log one. So these terms will be zero. So the only terms remaining will be log q is equal to n log two pi m k t by h square raised to three by two into v e by n. Let that be equation one. So we have found out the expression for log q. Now we'll try to find out the value for the internal energy. We have seen in our previous video. The expression for internal energy in terms of partition function that is u equals k t square do log q by do t at constant v n. From equation one, we got log q is equal to n log two pi m k t by h square is to three by two v e by n. Now differentiate this with respect to t temperature at constant v and n. So in the expression for internal energy, there is do log q by do t. So in order to get that. We are going to differentiate this equation one with respect to t at constant v and n. So do log q by do t at constant v n is equal to n into do by do t of this term log two pi m k t by h square raised to three by two plus log v e by n constant v n. So here t is the only variable we are differentiating with respect to t. The rest all are constants. So, on differentiating this, we get three by two n by t. So, u equals we have u equals k t square do log q by do t. Do log q by do t is three by two n by t. So, substitute in the equation for internal energy. So, u equals k t square into three by two n by t. So, that is equal to three by two n k t. N into K equals R, the universal gas constant. So for n moles of an ideal monatomic gas, U is equal to three by two n R T. And if it is one mole, that is three by two R T. So we got U as three by two R T for an ideal monatomic gas. Similarly, we can also find out other thermodynamic properties such as heat capacity, work function, entropy, etc. So now let's see heat capacity Cp and Cv. We know that Cv is do u by do t at constant v. Heat capacity at constant volume. Do u by do t at constant v. So that is do by do t of three by two n r t. That is equal to three by two n r for n moles. Now next is Cp. So Cp is do h by do t at constant p, where h is the enthalpy. So h is equal to u plus p v. U is three by two nRT, and for an ideal gas, we know the equation of state PV is equal to nRT. So three by two nRT plus nRT is equal to five by two nRT for n moles. So the enthalpy is five by two nRT. So Cp equals do H by do T at constant P. So do by do T of five by two nRT that is equal to five by two nR for n moles of an ideal monatomic gas. Now next, we can see the work function. Or Helmholtz free energy. We have the equation for work function A equals U minus T S, which is equal to minus K T log Q. This we have already found out in our previous video minus K T log Q. Now log Q is n log two pi m K T by h square raised to three by two V E by n. So directly substitute the equation for work function or Helmholtz free energy, and so we get A equals minus n K T. Log two pi m k t by h square raised to three by two v e by n. The next is equation of state. We know that for an ideal gas, P v is equal to n r t is the equation of state. So now let's find out in terms of partition function. The expression for pressure in terms of partition function is P is equal to k t do log q by do v at constant t n. So k t into do by do v of Substitute for log q n log two pi m k t by h square raised to three by two v e by n at constant t n. Differentiating with respect to volume, we get k t into do by do v of n log two pi m k t by h square raised to three by two into v e by n. That is equal to k t n into the first term will be zero plus do by do v of log v e by n. So that Uh, we'll get as n k t by v. So p equals n k t by v. Therefore p v is equal to n k t 
or that is equal to n k is equal to r so that is equal to n r t for n moles of ideal gas this is the equation of state pv is equal to n r t now another important property thermodynamic property that we can uh, determine is entropy entropy of an ideal monoatomic gas we have the equation for entropy in terms of partition function molar partition function as s is equal to k log q plus kt do log q by do t at constant vn or s is equal to k log q plus u by t we already have the expression for log q that is equal to n log 2 pi m kt by its square is to 3 by 2 ve by n so substitute for log q in the expression for s s is equal to n k into log 2 pi m kt by its square is to 3 by 2 into ve by n plus it is u by t we already found out the expression for internal energy so it is 3 by 2 nkt so 3 by 2 nkt by t so here we will get 3 by 2 nk taking nk this is common outside so s is equal to nk into 3 by 2 plus log 2 pi m kt by its square is to 3 by 2 ve by n or this can be expanded as nk into 3 by 2 plus log 2 pi m kt by its square is to 3 by 2 plus log v by n plus log e log e is equal to 1 so 3 by 2 plus 1 as 5 by 2 so s is equal to nk into 5 by 2 plus log 2 pi m kt by its square is to 3 by 2 plus log v by n so this is one form of equation this can be expressed as s is equal to nk log 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 v by n into e raised to 5 by 2 this is one form of expressing uh, entropy of an ideal monoatomic gas in terms of partition function it can also be expressed as s is equal to nk log 2 pi m kt by its square raised to 3 by 2 into nkt by np e raised to 5 by 2 since v is equal to nkt by p here i have written this pv is equal to nkt or v is equal to nkt by p so instead of v substitute kt by p so that will be of the form s is equal to nk into log 2 pi m kt by its square is to 3 by 2 into kt by p e raised to 5 by 2 so in any of these forms we can express either a b b dash or c in any of these equations you can express the entropy of an ideal monoatomic gas in terms of partition function and these equations are commonly known as sacker tetrode equations there is also another way to express these sacker tetrode equations in this equation some of the quantities are constants so substituting the value for such constants as boltzmann constant h is a planck's constant the value of pi etc substituting the values for these constants we can also arrive at the value of entropy as minus 46.329 plus 8.314 into 2.303 into 3 by 2 log m plus 3 by 2 log t plus log v this is also another form of equation for entropy for an ideal monoatomic gas similarly we can also calculate other thermodynamic properties of monoatomic gases in terms of partition function in the next video we will see how to evaluate thermodynamic properties of a diatomic gas in terms of partition function thank you